using Snagit to quickly create summaries of video tutorials and webinars. So much of the content that we consume today is in a video format. When I want to learn how to do something, I'm more likely to search up a YouTube tutorial than reading written instructions on it. Even at work, a lot of the information sharing and tutorials are done via webinars. To get the most out of the learning experience, I like to take notes extracting essential information from the content and creating a concise summary that I can reference later. This way, when I need a refresher, rather than having to re-watch a 15-minute video or recording of a webinar, I can skim through my summary sheet to review. But taking notes while watching a video or a webinar is difficult. A lot of the information that's presented is visual, and it would take a lot of words to translate the info you see on the screen into meaningful notes. So this is where Snagit comes in. For those of you who don't know what Snagit is, it's a powerful screen capture utility. There's so much that you can do with it, but today I'm just going to share with you my workflow for capturing content on the screen to create summaries and recaps like this. Essentially, I take screen captures of pertinent information that are shown in the video and paste it into my OneNote, add simple annotations and comments to create a concise summary that I can use as a reference in the future. Now I know this isn't mind-blowing, and you can do this with any screen capture tool, but the workflow using Snagit is so much simpler and the end result is so much cleaner. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say I'm learning how to put together a project charter. So I just pull this random video on the topic. Before we get started, I'm going to open my Snagit capture and define a fixed region that I want to capture. Go to the cog, select Fix region, then make the selection. You can use the arrows on the keyboard to micro refine the selection, nudging one pixel at a time. Now, whenever we want to record what's on the screen, I just have to press print screen on the keyboard since that's the shortcut that's been set. And I'm going to toggle copy to clipboard on. Now I'm going to open a page on my OneNote but you can do this with any note-taking app or even a Word document. I'll create a table with two columns so that I can paste the screen capture in one and make notes on the other. As we get to an interesting section on the video, I'm going to hit print screen, then paste it into my OneNote. The image in this case is really large. I can scale it down, but I don't want to have to do this for each image that I paste. So rather, I'm going to go back to my Snagit capture then go to Effects to scale down the image to 50%. Now let's try Print Screen and Paste. Looks much better. Now we can add our notes right in OneNote. Let's do this a few times. Since we defined the fixed region, the pasted image is the same size every time, keeping things neat. We can even make annotations to highlight the important parts of the captured image. If you were using any other screen capture tool, like the window snipping tool for example, you'd have to select the region for each capture, which is not only time consuming, but you're not going to end up getting the exact selection each time. You also can't scale the image automatically, so if the size isn't right, you'd have to manually adjust each capture. Same thing for webinar or Teams meeting. If someone is sharing their screen and you want to capture important information, you can define the region at the beginning of the meeting. And every time something is shared on screen that interests you, you can just hit print screen. You'll just capture the content without all of the videos of the attendees and the controls that you see. And unlike a YouTube tutorial where you can pause and rewind, the content in a meeting can be lost if you don't capture it quickly. So rather than pasting each copied image to a notes program like OneNote, you can just focus on hitting print screen whenever an important info shows on the screen. And all of this will be saved in your Snagit editor. After the meeting, when you have time, you can even make annotations directly on the captured content, then you add them to your notes program. So this is one way I use Snagit, 
Again, there's so much you can do with this program, and I'll share some of the more useful features in future videos. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and learned something today, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks, and bye for now.